Alright. I'm going to go through this contradiction here and let you figure it out. But first of all, let me uh, go th through a couple of verses here. A study to show thyself approved unto God, a good uh, workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right. So let me show you something else here. Kind of interesting, I think, is that. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oops, my bad, my bad. Let's go here. Jesus says the scripture cannot be broken. All right, so think about that. The scripture cannot be broken. All right, now let's go to oh, where are we going? Psalm. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Okay, so let's go to New Testament. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. Alright, and then you consider the fact that Jesus is the Word of God. Alright, Jesus essentially is the scripture. Okay, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So when Jesus says the scripture cannot be broken, he's referring also to the word of God. Both in writing and in, in, uh, in the flesh when he was on the earth. So he's the word of God. So... The Word of God endures forever. It cannot be broken. Okay, so this idea that we can't know what the true Word of God is, is absolute rubbish. It's only being promoted by those that do not believe in the Word of God. Alright, even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. There are many verses that support this. You must have faith in order for your eyes to be open. Okay, It's all about faith. It's always been about faith. Now if you don't have faith then it stands to reason that you don't understand what the scripture says and therefore you're gonna wanna see a contradiction you're gonna to want to see errors you're gonna see want to see broken scripture now and this uh, website here <laughs> atheist.org they claim that this is uh, a contradiction here when it says uh, cursed be he that life with his sister the daughter of his father or the daughter of his of this mother all right let me just verify that real quickly sounds right no but it's not right okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's pretty close okay I don't know how I don't know how you make that mistake, but it doesn't matter. It, you can still look, look it up in the Bible, the King James Bible, obviously. So you see what I'm looking at here. Or the daughter of his mother. Or the daughter of this mother. Either way. Okay, so they can't even get their stuff right when they're quoting the Bible. That's, that's just brilliant. So anyways... Um, and then also in Leviticus, if a man shall take his sister, his daughter, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, it is a wicked thing. And then of course, in Genesis, but what was God's reaction to marriage? 
Well, so see Genesis 20. <clears throat> That's just brilliant. Okay. What was it? 11? And Abraham said, Because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet, indeed, she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, of my mother, and she became my wife. Okay, so I got to keep reading to. All right, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's that's not the issue. Okay, and God said unto Abraham. As for Sarah thy wife, I bless her, and give thee a son also of her. Now they could have went back to, uh, I think it's Genesis 4. Am I remembering it correctly? When, oh, uh, I can't remember now. Like, what the hell is that? Okay, I can't remember. Let's see. And Cain knew his wife right there. That was his sister. Alright, there's no question about it. Um, no question about it. Because there was nobody but his sister. Alright, so now the answer is very obvious. Okay, the very simple, very obvious. I want you as the viewer to answer that in your own words, if you can.